BerquisArmin.com. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today I want to talk about the 12 and a half inch Patrol 556. This is a AR-15 upper receiver group. In this video, I want to focus on the features and the functionality. So here we have the 12 and a half inch upper from BerkwistArmament.com. And this is a Roscoe manufacturing barrel. And it is a collab with Sage Dynamics. So it is a 12 and a half inch 556 barrel. And then you have a patrol length gas system. Regulating the gas system on a short barreled 556 is difficult especially when you want it to function well suppressed or unsuppressed. The patrol length gas system isn't a huge upgrade compared to the carbine length, but a little softer recoil impulse is always appreciated. The mid-length 12.5 inch barrels are a cool concept, but it seems like they only function great suppressed, which has its place, but being able to run unsuppressed is non-negotiable in my opinion. Next, let's talk about the barrel profile. This barrel is what you call a taper profile. That means it starts thick near the chamber, and as you move down to the tip, the barrel thins out. In my opinion, the taper profile is functionally better than a government profile barrel. Most of the heat is produced at the chamber of the barrel. Therefore, in theory, that's where the most material should be to support the increase in heat. Harmonics, or how the barrel moves as the bullet passes down the barrel, plays a huge role in accuracy. The taper profile should offer better harmonics compared to the government profile barrel because of the increase in strength near the chamber and the decrease of barrel flex. The gas system and the barrel profile are an improvement compared to the standard government profile barrel. What about the barrel material? Well, yet again, Roscoe has made an improvement. gentlemen today's video is sponsored by Berquist Armament. I build custom upper receiver groups so if you're interested and you're looking for something that is ready to go out of the box go to www.berquistarmament.com. Most barrels are made from 416R stainless steel or 4150 chrome molly vanadium steel. 416R stainless is softer and easier to button cut compared to 4150. Being easier to cut translates to better consistency. Better consistency translates to better accuracy. The K9 12 and a half inch barrel is made from 416R stainless steel, which allows the barrel rifling to be more consistent. The issue with 416R barrels is the service life is significantly reduced. However, if you apply a nitride coating, it hardens the steel for a good service life. Roscoe claims the K9 barrels will have a similar service life compared to the 4150 barrels finished with nitride. The service life of a barrel always relies on how you treat it. For most of us that don't have access to fun mode and an unlimited supply of ammo, it's probably safe to say this barrel will last a very long time. Price to performance, the K9 series might be the best option for shooters that are focused on accuracy, recoil impulse, functionality suppressed and unsuppressed, and service life. The barrel is only one part of the upper. Many parts come together to make an efficient machine. If parts are not manufactured to certain specifications, or if the upper is not built correctly, problems can manifest. Many issues people have is due to improper tolerances or poor craftsmanship. The point I'm trying to bring across is a cold hammer forged barrel or a Daniel defense rail is not what makes a good rifle. What makes a good rifle is ensuring that the parts are of good quality, the parts are assembled correctly, and the parts work well with one another. Speaking of good quality parts, the bolt carrier group I am using is made by AO Precision. They make a good BCG for the price. The model I'm using is the phosphate with a chrome line bore. Some of you might be wondering why I chose an old mil spec coating when there are many different options out there. The reason is old coatings have been used for decades and companies have learned how to make a good BCG. The newer coatings require different specifications. 
manufacturers don't have the experience like they do with phosphate and chrome. The only downside with the AO Precision BCG is there is less quality control and the extractor spring is weak so they added the donut. That being said, I have never had an issue with AO Precision and you can change out the bolt hardware for something better once it's time for replacement. The handguard I'm using is the Midwest Industries 11.5 inch combat rail. I think it's the perfect balance between weight and durability. Let's talk about the accuracy I'm getting out of this 12.5 inch upper. All of the groups are shot at 100 yards. First up, the ammo used was PMC XTAC 556 55 grain. This is a 10 shot group rounded up to 3.27 inches. The best 9 comes in at 2.30 inches. Best 5 comes in at 1.10 inches. Next up we have the 10 shot group of the on target 223 77 grain SMK coming in at 1.44 inches. Best 9 comes in at 1.33 inches. Best 5 is grouping at 0.82 inches. Next couple groups were shot in the barrel's break-in period last year. Using the same ammo, 5 shots comes out at 1.18 inches. Here we have Sig Sauer's 40 grain 223 load grouping at 1.19 inches. It is important to note that all of the groups shown were not cherry picked. They were shot once and those were the results. Additionally, all of the groups were shot with a suppressor. The on target 223 77 grain was the cheapest 77 load I could find when I bought it. There is probably other loads that would be more accurate. When I first started this project, I knew what the purpose of this build would be. I wanted the upper to function good suppressed, be accurate without sacrificing durability, balanced for running and gunning, precise at extended distances, and reasonably priced. After running this setup and getting to know its capabilities, it has become my go-to rifle. Thank you to those of you who have made it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this one, give me a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel.